Today I'm going to demonstrate how we can use an internal standard to obtain absolute phase quantities from Riedfeld refinements. I'm going to use an example from the BGMN software suite. It's the same example used in a tutorial on the Profex website, from where you can also download the raw data file to reproduce what I'm doing in this video. I will give the link to the website in the description. The sample contains 10 weight percent calcite, albite and adularia, 30% quartz and 10% glass. But when we refine it, we don't see the glass, only the four crystalline phases. And we normalize the refined quantities to the sum of all crystalline phases, because we have no information about the presence of an amorphous constituent. As a result, we obtain relative phase quantities that are different from the absolute ones if there are undetected amorphous phases. If we want to determine absolute quantities, we have to use a workaround. There are several options, but the one I'm going to demonstrate here is called the internal standard method. We have to add a known quantity of a fully crystalline standard phase to our sample. In this example, 10 weight percent zincite were mixed with 90% of the sample of unknown phase quantities. Zincite is a good choice for an internal standard because it is important that this phase is highly symmetric, so we don't introduce a lot of additional peak overlap, and it must be 100% crystalline. If we refine the phases now, we obtain again relative quantities, and we will see that the amount of zincite is different from the amount we added to the sample. Zincite is the only phase of which we know the relative and the absolute quantity. Now we know that zincite is overestimated by a factor of 1.6, and so are all other refined quantities. So we divide all relative quantities by 1.6 to obtain absolute quantities. Now the sum of all phases is no longer 100%, and the difference between the sum of the crystalline phases and 100% is the amount of glass or amorphous phases. In the last step, we want to get rid of the zincite because we were only temporarily interested in it. So we scale the 90% without zincite to 100% by dividing all quantities by 0.9 and as a result we obtain the true absolute phase quantities. This sounds like a lot of work, but in fact it is very simple to achieve in Profex if we specify the internal standard phase and its true absolute quantity. Profex then changes the way the relative quantities are normalized and we automatically obtain absolute quantities, including the amorphous fraction. When we download the example file from the Profex website, it comes as a prepared project. So we can directly open the refinement project, the diagram file, and it already contains all the phases that, were, that we normally have to determine by a search match or phase identification. That's the adularia, calcite, the albite, quartz, and the internal standard, zincite. So we can run this refinement directly. And if we look at the global goals in the refined parameters, now we see the relative phase quantities. So zincite, even though we added 10% to the sample, it was refined as 15.48%, quartz 42, and all the others around 14%. So obviously zincite is overestimated. But now we, are not, we have not yet defined it as the internal standard. It's just another phase. Um, Profex does not know that this is a special phase that we added uh, on purpose. But we can define zincite as the internal standard by going to project, set internal standard. And now we select the one that, was, that we use as a reference, zincite. And we specify the amount we added to the sample. So we we added 10%. And now if we repeat the refinement, we will obtain absolute phase quantities. 
now in the global goals, the name of, of the quantity goals changed to Q apps, just to remind us that these are now absolute quantities. And we no longer see Zincite because Profex also performed the last step, eliminate Zincite from the uh, quantification because we don't really want to know the Zincite content. We would like to have the initial absolute phase quantities before we added Zincite. And now we get 9.7% uh, adularia, 10.2 calcite, 9.98 albite, 30.77 quartz, and for, uh, almost 40% amorphous fraction. And if we compare this with the mixed um, quantities, we had 40% glass, 30% quartz, and 10% of all the others. So this is an extremely accurate refinement. And if we scroll down in the refinement control file, in this section, this is the part where the phase quantities are calculated. Normally it looks a bit different if we only normalize the uh, quantities to the sum of all crystalline phases. But this is the part that was changed to obtain these uh, absolute quantities. We can just go back and forth. Uh, we can unset the internal standard again. Click this. And now we are back to the normal calculation. If we repeat the refinement, zincite will be reported again. Uh, the, uh, the amorphous content will, will not be calculated. So this is the standard uh, calculation of quantity goals. And if we go back to zincite, 10%. This part is changed back to the, the absolute quantification. And we always have to repeat the refinement because this will be these calculations will be performed at the end of the refinement. So uh, we have to repeat it to update the list file and the refined parameters table. So that's all we have to do to use the internal standard quantification. Um, of course, we have to prepare the sample first. We have to add the known uh, quantity of, of a reference material, of a reference phase. But um, as far as the data processing is concerned, we, we have to identify the phases, set up the refinement project as, as we always have to, and then uh, set the internal standard. That's all I wanted to show in this video. If you liked it, uh, please give it a like and share it with your friends and colleagues and come back for the next one. I will see you soon, bye bye.